Manipulating markers in After Effects is very tedious, in particular if you have lots of them, which is for example the case when BeatEdit creates beat markers for you. The BeatEdit tools to move, copy and paste markers makes this much easier and they work with any markers, no matter if they have been created with BeatEdit or not. I already have some markers on my music layer here, so I can select it and click Copy. Then I select the Null layer and click Paste. As you can see, all markers within the work area have been pasted to this layer now. Both Copy and Paste are limited to the work area by default, but you can also Shift-click them to copy all markers of the layer instead. If we don't select any layer, they are pasted as comp markers instead. Now let's say we want to move the first five comp markers a little bit to the right. Then I can set the work area such that it only includes those five markers and then set the current time indicator a few frames behind the fifth marker. If I now click on move markers, the comp markers in the work area move a bit to the right such that the last marker is exactly at the current time. In general, the Move Markers feature moves the markers such that the marker which is closest to the current time moves to the current time. So if I place the current time indicator here, near the third marker, it will move the markers like this, such that the third marker is at the current time now. And if I go with the current time here very far to the right, it will move all markers from the work area here and place the last one at the current time. The copy and paste function also supports offsets. Let's say we want to continue the markers on our null layer here. So we make sure the work area covers the entire composition, move the current time indicator to the first marker and click copy. Then we move to the last marker and click paste. This works great, except for one little flaw, and that is that at this point we have two markers now. Because there has already been a marker and now we pasted a second one on top of it. To fix this, we undo and make sure the current time indicator is at the first marker again. Then we exclude this first marker from our work area and copy, such that now all markers except this first one have been copied. Now we move to the last marker again and paste. And this time we have no duplicate since we excluded the first marker before copying. Now we can paste several times to add as many markers as we want. So, as you can see, you can copy and move markers in a very quick and intuitive way using BeatEdit.